Nick Menard with DBSL. This is presented to you by Dragon World TCG, and today we're going to be going over webcams, and more specifically webcam events for card games. Uh, perhaps you've signed up for one, you want to be able to understand how to get it all set up, what the good angles are, or you just don't own any of these things and want to know, what should I buy? Uh, good news is, is if you already have a phone, you likely don't need to purchase absolutely anything. So we'll be going over some options that are free first, just to keep it as you know pocket friendly as po possible for everyone. So first, let's kind of let's let's just go over the view that we want. So as you can see, what's most important here is that we're not only capturing the actual playmat, we're capturing the areas around it and more specifically also above. Um, your hand should always be in view for the entire time. So you do want it, the, the angle of the camera to be high enough, which is going to be about roughly 45 degrees. So that the opposing player can see your hand all the time, and vice versa, you're going to want the same for them. So no one's really going to be looking at their cards all day, it's kind of like this in front of their face. Uh, you'll just be kind of looking down, so anything that basically has the angle of the camera up to essentially your chest, uh, that should be good. That way, you know, as right now, I'm holding these up, and they can see them. So not in view, personally, through this here, but you get the gist. So let's look at the first free option. So while this will look absolutely hilarious, uh, this is just stacking some good books and your phone is just in a slip on a, uh, on a Kleenex box. Look, I made this as free as humanly possible, it gets the correct angle on this. Uh, anyone can set this up. The biggest thing you'll have for any struggle with using your phone as your webcam is just making sure that you got it charged the whole time because no phone's going to be able to handle going, you know, full six to ten hour day um, re recording video essentially. Like all phones will die. That, that's too much. So you do have to make sure you have it properly set up so that your, your phone is not uh, Second setup is just, let's just say a new phone, but you don't want to do a whole setup with books because maybe you don't have the space or whatever reason. Uh, let's just say you already have a stand for your camera or anything. Well, use that. So here's an example of what that would look like. I think this one costs like $10 or something on Amazon. Uh, really easy to find this stuff. Go for it. Uh, my personal setup, so I am using webcam. Uh, what you'll see is like I, I do have a larger desk. I do have a desktop PC and dual monitor system. So for me, like it's just a really easy setup to do. And then I just have my webcam at the correct angle, and then it's just easy peasy. I don't have to use any external things on it. Uh, but that's really as, as simple as it is. So if you if you have those tools, use them. If not, use the free options because they're there. And why spend the extra money if you don't have it? Webcams, I believe, are still overpriced. So mine personally, I'm just using the Logitech. Uh, I think it's the the C920. So it's it's like mid range. It's about as good as you need. I think pre pandemic it was around. 60 bucks or something now they're well over like 100 uh maybe 150 i had to look again but you know really don't go wasting money on an expensive webcam because spending more time on your lighting setup is going to do you far better than spending extra money on webcams their, their quality really is quite limited so i hope you learned a lot today uh make sure to like subscribe all that youtubey goodness uh have a good one